How's it going everyone? Welcome back and today we're going to be playing the final starter deck Northern Realms. This was actually the first game I played and the first video was Northern Realms but now we're going to properly have a look. So we'll go over what strategies are in the deck, we'll play a game and then I'll show you what cards to look out for if you want to expand your Northern Realms collection when you open kegs uh, and then we'll open a keg ourselves. Uh, don't forget that I will be doing after this video um, good cards to craft for beginners okay so uh watch out for that and let's jump straight in shall we okay so let's have a look at the northern realm starter deck okay so we've actually played this in the very first video that i did uh, i think i just played northern realm so we kind of know what this one's about for the most part it's reliant on it's got some really nice engines so the tridam infantryman is going to be really useful as well as the Temerian Drummer to combo with that. So you kind of want to get those. You don't want to waste them all on, on round one though. You probably want some of these for round three. You want a long round three if you can help it. Uh, we've got blue stripes, which is, is a nice way of getting a lot of extra blue stripes. Uh, pulling things and thinning your deck. And we've got a couple of extra cards as well, like the Lyrian things, which can gain charge every time you do something. So another engine. Um, we want to try and get him out in round one if possible because he'll come back whenever I play a soldier, so just a little extra value. And I guess the big card is Anna. Try and save her for round three um, if it's going to be a medium long round. And she, you kind of want to bait them out with the drummers and then use Anna because she's even better. And what leader are we using? Boost an allied unit by one, three charges. So that's basically it. We're just going to be trying to use those um, three engines. Tridem Infantryman, Temerian Drummer, Anna Strenger. And the rest of it is basically just filling up space. Um, so, you know, we'll use reinforced trebuchets as engines um, in any round, really. And then we'll use locks and we'll use boosts and we'll use Geralt and anything else whenever. Um, just to try and ease it along, really. Those vermin. Okay, so... He has, if he's the starter deck, he's got some of them can take out a four strength. He's probably got the lock. So, okay. We've got both of these in our hands, but no way to actually buff them. Like, no engines. So we don't want both of these right now, probably. So we've got one drummer for that. We might use that this time. He's going to be good. I think our leader card gives zeal as well. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, that's a different leader. I think this is fine. We've got him round one. We've got a couple of golds if things go badly. He's going first, me. So I don't want to lose. So I think that's fine. We'll stick with that. That's good. So we're hoping that he places stuff on the range. We won't play that until he does play something on the range. Because otherwise it will signify that if he forgets about it. Um, boost all units in hand by one. He'll use that probably straight away. Let's start with... I'll start with that. The Set reason being, fine. if he wants to waste removal on that, then feel free to do so. I don't think he will. I mean, these ones are quite powerful for me, and I don't want him to remove them. But if he does, I've got no way of, like, resurrecting them or anything, so... Boost all units in his hand by one. So he's a little bit more powerful in round one than I will be. So I probably don't want to... I probably won't win this round. I think the Northern Realm's leader is one we didn't change. Damage a unit by two, and if it kills it, it boosts a unit in his hand by two. Right, so that didn't do anything. Harmony. Boost staff by one when a, or the specified amount when you play a square tail unit on your side whose primary category is unique to all, on all of the cards. Right, so that's probably something that new players don't understand. Primary category, I think, is just the first first subcategory you get here. So this is a dryad. Anytime you play something else that's not a dryad and it's unique, you'll get something. So this is human as its primary category. Um, I guess we'll do the, the drummer. Right. And we'll click Left. that to thin our deck. Right. We could... I don't like boosting the drummer because it put it up into nine, which is Geralt territory. Okay, whenever you play a dwarf, he's a good card. 
Very powerful card. I think because he's playing golds like that, I think it's starting to show that he's he's pushing quite heavily here. Um, he's beating my strength, so we're in a bit of an issue. Uh, whenever you play a dwarf, gain one armor. At the end of your turn, boost out by one if he's got armor. So he's not playing anything onto the range row, so that's kind of the thing. I think we have to place that down. To arms! Now he's got the ability, but I've got no more in the deck. I do need to play him. Now, I am ahead in strength. We do have five extra strength as well, so we'll see. Is it defeat? Or to hands? Right, he's played a dwarf, he gets one armor, and since he's got armor, he boosts. Uh, got a hearty um, like went. 666. It's the number of the beast. Right, I could get rid of the armor, but that doesn't really stop him from boost. I can't stop him from boosting, so I feel like there's no point because it boosts at the end of his turn. Um, I think maybe we want to try and just push out of this round. Maybe we've got an engine though, so maybe we want to keep it going for a bit. We're definitely going to play this guy. For this um, most beautiful of maidens, I shall fight up we'll wait a bit longer, but we will want to get out of this round soon, I think. Oh, I like he's got the bonded, so he's got extra value. Um, it looks like he's got a lot of stuff going here that's going to be difficult. He's not playing anything on the range, bro. That will get to nine, so I can Geralt that if I want. Crew. How do you use crew? Trigger this if it's between two soldiers. These are soldiers, right? All right. Um, order damage unit by one. And then we have to use this now, actually, because he's going to go up. So I think we have to use that now. We're staying below Geralt, which is nice. I feel like he's used a lot of golds in the first round. I haven't used anything too powerful. These are a nice engine. Uh, he's used his leader, so he hasn't got that either. Boost an allied unit by one, so damage an enemy unit if it survives. Oh, is he just going to kill that? Oh no, okay. Right, one of the issues is that won't get to nine if he randomly pings it. Uh, just saying. This is an order card, so he will get an extra charge. We're not gonna, there's nothing worth killing precisely, so it might be worth trying to kill dwarfs in case he's got something that's boosted by the amount of dwarfs. We could have boosted him, but he would have been, uh, he would have been um, protected, I suppose. Okay, this is fine. Oh, he's a nine as well, so he might be. So yeah, it's probably worth Geralt and him. We we can wait one more card before doing so. I'm wound. I am wondering whether I. I block that so he hasn't got a Geralt. Um. Do I think he's gonna have a Geralt? It's a beginner star deck. He's, he's not a beginner start, he's because he's got all these fucking cards. And they're not beginner cards. So I think... Um, are these both soldiers? Soldier, soldier. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, okay. I'm risking that biscuit. All these fucking cards! Alright, okay. He still hasn't put anything on the range row. We can't... Ha <laughs> ha Oh, if he hasn't got Geralt Igni, please. I'm not ready. Don't do not do me dirty like this. Oh my god, that that could be... Don't. Don't you do Geralt Igni. Don't you do it. Don't you stop tithing. <laughs> you Don't you stop sowing offerings. 
Even if, but they won't let us go in it well. You, even if you have to slip it under the door, you get your tithe in that KBT channel. And then you go home and you do what you got to do. Ah, yes. Geralt Igni has a new thing, which is initiative, which means if you pull it from your deck, it requires a higher... Um, it's got a higher requirement. Uh, so, it can't be Geralt Igni. I don't know what he's doing. Ah. Right, so if you're like that, it picks a random card, I think. And then you may not get all the value from it, so... Unless he's broke the game. No, he hasn't. Sword okay. and arm be one. Right. Now I kind of want him to go away. So I'm going to put Geralt in there so that doesn't get to uh, nine. So he doesn't have a Geralt of his own. And then I'm just going to say, go away. And now he should pass, really. I mean, he doesn't have to win this. He's not at any negative here from passing. He can pass here and have zero negative consequences, really. Apart from he doesn't get last save, but that's not too important. He hasn't lost any card advantage. Um, I'm the one that's at risk, I think. Because we're below four cards. But I think that's as far as I'm going to go. Damage your units on a row by one. That could pack him... So that's like 11 points, right? You die, human. So... So the question is... I could put that down, it'll get two turns. Um, he's spending golds and I'm not. I could pass. I'm gonna just keep playing. I think. Ah, that's true. He missed out on one point because he used that to kill something that was here. The Temerian Drummer, where he would have killed it with that anyway. But he could have used that on something else. So it's a bit weird, but he's at least like an eight point. So, and I've got three leader charges if I want to just, if, if I'm really scared. Not that I want to use them. I don't want to use them. But I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Stannis on Tridem. If I do Stannis on Tridem, it only counts for one ping. Um, oh, I could, oh, I could do the four boost. I think that'd be worth it. Boost four allied units by one. That's that's what you want. Because then it's royal that. And do all the lowest ones. Um, bam. There you go. That hits. If I'd have done the other one where it boosts by four, it still only counts one ping and it'd be in Geralt range. I think that's it. He's got to do... What's that? 12 points? Great. So that looks pretty bad for me, but I can drive past and I get a decent amount of card advantage from this. Okay, so these aren't great. Um, we're going to use our mulligans here. We don't plan on playing any of these, but we're going to use our redraws to get Anna Stringer, Neneke, Drummer, Trident Infantry. They're the cards we're looking for. So what's, what's least important? That one. I think he's been pretty, pretty smart with that recently. Right. I'm going to pass it up. Okay, so he did not thin his deck with that. Um, apart from one card that was in his hand at the beginning, he's lost all his leader buff, apart from one. Um, right, okay. Anna would be like game winning, but that's good. We just need a drummer or Anna now. He could be quite good. How many orders we got? One. I think he's been pretty good at avoiding that, so I might redraw it. Okay, last chance. Oh, the drummer. It's not Anna, but it's a drummer. Okay. Melee. Show me the coin or sod off. Um boost a random unit in your hand. Let's let's lock that, shall we? 
I do not mince words. Let's get that lock. So, out of these two, to my Trident Infantryman and the Temerian Drummer, which one is more valuable? I would generally say the Drummer's more valuable because he doesn't do anything on his own. However, we can play him and use all our leader charges on him if we want to ping, ping, ping. But then our Scytheman doesn't get much value. Um, we'll play this guy. Oh, so she purified, which got rid of the lock. So he's gone back to the doing that. But we've got we've got the Thunderbolt to doing good Lyrian stuff. Uh, we'll do the drummer. Again and again and then he'll start boosting. We can sneak him in the middle if he survives. If he doesn't, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, the drummer can work without Tridem. The Tridem can't. He can do some stuff, but. Right, okay, Pavko Gale, that's a tough one. Today's gonna be a good day. Damage unit by two. Alright. I think I'm gonna do da. And maybe even that. I lose one value for not doing it on there. He's gonna do two damage. I wonder if it'll survive. I think three damage is easy to do, isn't it? So. Boost the damage unit by one. I'm going to boost that one more and more. And I'm going to save that until after I've done that. We, we can use the Thunderbolt to boost him. I was just thinking about using the Uprising to protect him. Because he's going to damage him by two. And then he needs th two damage. And that's quite easy to get. Three? I generally think most things are three damage for Squirtel. So I wouldn't have been able to protect him too much. Okay. So that damages by one. Swords so he can do three damage next turn. So that damages by one. That damages by two. So if I play... Uh, I'm going to lose value with this order thing. If I do that and boost him, he just stays alive. we go. So we can do three damage unless he's got something in his hand. And then I guess we'll play this and then we'll play that. Oh, actually, we'll do it the other way because he'll give it um, a zeal. What the fuck was that? Deal five damage. Oh, okay. So I guess I wasted some value there. <laughs> Out he comes again. Okay. Oh, wait. So the leader's going to go on one of these, and the other one's going to go on the other one. He'll give zeal to this guy. So he can do his damage straight away. He might be able to kill that if he hits it with that and that, depending on what he's got. Generally speaking, holy shit. <laughs> That's not what I thought. Uh, do four damage, so... Alright, okay. Alright, so we lost a lot of points there. So let's see how we do. We'll do this first. One bolt. He can give that zeal so he can do the damage straight away. Kaplow. How much has this got? He needs two. And then this guy needs one. And then we spawn some guy at the end. And hopefully he gives me enough points. Oh. Be honest though. He was not a starter deck. So. I'm actually pretty happy we won that. Because he was not a starter deck. Um, so I guess that might be a good example of. Even with a star deck. You can win against people with better cards. If you've got correct plays. Um, you know, if you play well, it won't go infinitely far, but it'll, it'll take you, like, playing is a decent chunk of the game, you know? Some cards that might be quite good for Northern Rounds, 
Draug is used quite a lot in Northern Realms. So if you spot Draug in a keg, I think he's a good go if you like Northern Realms. Um, what else? Philippa's a nice card. Uh, it goes in pretty much any Northern Realms deck, I would say. Uh, good value, bit of removal, bit of good value. High provisions. So for a beginner, you've got plenty of spare provisions. Falibor is pretty much in most Northern Realms decks that I've played as well. So if you spot Falibor, you want to grab him. Queen Adalia is, is in a lot of Northern Realms decks too. It allows you to basically have an extra copy of a bronze. So an extra drummer, which is protected with a shield. Or an extra infantryman. A trident infantryman, which is protected by a shield. Or an extra any engine. So she's really nice. If you spot her, you want to grab her. Oh god. Prince Onsai. Onsai's. He's like pretty decent as well. So if you spot him in a keg, grab him. He's good removal and he's got this dual mechanic and it works well with leader abilities and stuff. So you can grab that. Um, maybe grab him. Defender's pretty good actually when um, you're trying to use all these engines. So if you see a good defender, you can grab that in a keg. So far, <laughs> pretty much most of the golds I've said. So she's used for a certain deck. I wouldn't suggest you, if like there's nothing else that appeals to you, or if she's the only one that you don't have. Be aware you've got a notable Northern Realms card here, but I think you need to build your deck a bit more about that um, before that'll work for you. Um, Botchling's an interesting choice. It's just a nice extra engine. Uh, a lot of things can destroy the botchling now. I think a lot of people are trying to take five damage cards, but it if it sits, it does good damage. Good good removal and stuff. Um Visigard can be quite good if you see him. We've got Anna Strangle already, which is nice. You can go for reinforcements. That's another way of getting an extra bronze. So if you like Triadam Infantryman, you just get another one if it's on the board. The, the negative here is that it has to be on the board and it has to stay on the board. So if you if you have a tr trouble establishing your engines on the board because they keep getting removed, this card's not going to be very good. But generally speaking, you should have enough engines. Something will stick. I think that's going to be it. So there's quite a lot of Northern Realms ones which I would recommend um, there, to be honest. Right. Um, let's have a look. My second Drowner. I think Drowners are really good. I said before, they've got the Thrive, so they work on the curve. They've got the two damage, which might work if you want to take some armor off, which prevents abilities. But also, it's got the movement. It's just such a flexible card. I love that card. Natural Selection. Uh, you can spawn loads of one strength stuff. It's okay. Uh, Vampire, we had one of those before. And spawn two rats. This works if you get Glusty Wolves as well. So, let's have a look. Rezzy. They're just rarezies. Um... Destroy an allied unit and gain vitality for four turns. So that would work, obviously, with loads of one strength stuff. Every allied turn on turn end, if you control fewer units than your opponent, boost south by one. Uh, that's pretty hard to do with monsters. You'd have to sort of mix it up with uh, loads of spells and stuff. But usually you've got more because you create Neckers and other stuff and multiple units. Damage an enemy by three and boost an allied unit by three. It's between these two, really. Uh, we'll go with the fledgling. I thought the value was really nice there. So you can you can destroy one strength stuff, or you can destroy um, death witch stuff. Now there is a small Venn diagram crossover on that. We're looking for our foggy boy. This guy, ancient foggy boy. Uh, it's a one strength thing, so you get maximum value from that fledger, and it's got a death wish. So. Perfect.